Hey folks, today we're diving into a super cool hack that breaks down barriers between ecosystems. Running Android apps on your iPad? That's right, you can actually run apps on iOS devices to make this magic happen. We'll be using a super handy tool called UTM. It's completely free and available on their website, so go grab it first. All the installation guides are already on their website. Also, we need to fetch the heart of Android. The disk image, also known as an ISO file. You can find several reliable sources online, but make sure to choose a version that's compatible with your iPad's hardware. Otherwise, it will not work. Alright, with OTM ready and Android ISO in hand, it's time to create our virtual playground. Open up UTM and tap that plus button to start creating a new machine. Virtualization may not work on the iPad, so choose to emulate. You know we are booting Android, so don't click on Windows or Linux. I know you're thinking Android is also Linux. Still, don't click on Linux, otherwise it will not boot. Now, it is the most crucial part of installation. Attaching the Android ISO file we downloaded earlier. We are not attaching it here, we'll do this later. Allocate some resources here. I have 8 gigs of RAM so I can give a reliable 2 GB. You can allocate RAM according to your specs. For storage, think 10 GB is enough to boot Android. You can allocate some shared storage, but I'm not allocating any shared storage. Our emulator is ready. You can cross-check your system here and save it. Before you tap on that run button, we also need to do two things. Attaching that downloaded Android ISO image and disabling UFE boot option, open settings, click on KMU and disable UFI boot. Now click on that plus icon and import iOS. Save it and run it. Now, as you can see, you can boot Android directly without installing, but we're not booting it directly. I'm going to install it first. Select Create and Modify Partition. Now, this free space is our allocated storage. Navigate using arrow keys and create a new primary partition. And don't forget to enable the boot flag. Now you can write this partition. Oh, are you sure you want to write the partition table to the disk? Yes. Now the partition is ready to be flashed. You can safely exit from here. Now this day day in is our created partition. Select it and format it as x 3 re do you want to install Grub? Yes, I do. Also, I want root access, so choose yes. I can bet you've never seen this much fast flashing of the Android OS. You can directly run it from here. Boom! The Android logo appears, signaling success. Let's dive into the basic setup of this vintage Android journey, starting with the essentials. Select Wi-Fi though it won't work since we're already rocking internet via Ethernet. And there we are on the home screen. Clean, isn't it? Now, let's unveil the time capsule, our Android version. Behold, it's running on the ancient jelly bean. Who would have thought we'd be time traveling through Android history? I've experimented with Android 14, Android 8, but alas, no luck. 
If you crack the code with other Android images, share your wisdom in the comments section. Let's make this journey a community effort, but before ending this video, let me give you a muted walkthrough of this Android. Nope. Nope. That's a wrap for today's Android adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you discover the secret source for newer Android versions, let's spread the knowledge. Until next time, happy tinkering.